Real versus fake, Travis Scott, Olive, Jordan once. I have a question for you. Which pair is the fake pair? Is this the first pair, the fake pair, or is this the fake pair? Leave a comment down below right now. If you guys guessed the second pair as the fake pair, you got it correct. This right here is the real pair, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, watch out, this is scary close. These Travis Scott olives are pretty close. This is scary. This is your last chance to enter for a pair of Thunder 4s in your size for completely free. All you guys need to do to enter this free giveaway is hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, join the more family, leave a comment, let me know your size in the Thunder 4s, and then follow me on Instagram, dannymore2369. Send me proof, send me a picture, send me a screenshot, send me proof that you guys subscribed to my YouTube channel. Good luck, I'll be announcing the giveaway in my next YouTube video, so make sure you guys get your giveaway entries in, and hey, please, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, because if you guys can get this video up to 1,500 likes, that's a lot of likes, but if you guys get this video up to 1,500 likes, I'm gonna give away a pair of the Travis Scott olives. So please, make sure you guys smash that like button and make sure you guys subscribe. Now, let's get into this real versus fake comparison of the Travis Scott olive Jordan 1s. I have a question for you. Are you tired of missing out on restocks and shock drops? Do you wanna know the latest sneaker news? Well, that's where today's video sponsor, Swift Soul, comes in to help. Swift Soul is a free to download app that provides the latest sneaker release information, raffles, restocks, shock drops, and more. And the best part is, it's all in one place at your fingertips, one app. With Swift Soul, I get notifications on my phone as soon as a shock drop, a restock, or sneaker news drops. As soon as it goes live, Boom, I get notification on my phone. Swift Soul is the all-in-one app every sneakerhead needs. It's free to download, and if you wanna take your sneaker game to the next level, there's also a paid plan as well. Be sure to check out Swift Soul with my link down below in the description. Thank you, Swift Soul, for sponsoring today's video. Be sure you guys check out this app. It will really help you with sneaker drops, restocks, shock drops, everything you guys need all in one spot. Make sure you guys check out Swift Soul. It's a great app. Right is real, left is fake. As you guys can see, that toe box definitely comes out more on the real pair than it does on the fake as well as the stitching is different there's the look at the real pair and take a look at the fake you could definitely notice that the stitching pattern is just different and it's like that throughout the entire shoe next up the suede the black suede is definitely ashier and definitely rubs back and forth better on the real pair than it does on the fake the fake Material just feels off compared to the real. The real pair just feels a lot better in person, as well as the laces. The laces definitely came wrong on the this pair of fakes. It's supposed to come with white laces factory, and you guys can notice that the width of the laces is wrong as well. Running up here on the tongue, take a look at this tongue on the fake. You guys can notice how the Cactus Jack logo there is kind of wrinkled compared to the real one where it's definitely on there a lot smoother, a lot better. Also, take a look at the Nike Air. Take, take a look at the real Nike Air and take a look at the fake one. The fake one just stands out more. It's more bold and it's just off compared to the real one. And take a look at the tongue. You guys can notice that the real tongue does come up higher than the fake one. Back to the stitching. Notice the stitching here on the fake. Take a look at the stitching, how it's not properly stitched. It's not all nice and neat together. But here on the real pair, it's definitely stitched much better and more aligned than it is here on the fake. The fake's a lot sloppier. You can really notice the shape difference. There's a look at the real pair, the toe box. And then here's a look at the fake. You can just notice that shape is just off compared to the real pair as well as the perforations and uh, definitely that black suede is definitely better higher quality on the real pair than it is on the fake you can look at the back the right is real left is fake you can notice how the shape is off the placement is off of the cactus jack logo as well as the actual logo itself is just off as well as the stitching the midsole there off just the shape of it the real pair is wider compared to the fake pair and it's just off there on the back as well as pointier you guys can notice how much pointier the real pair is on the back there 
compared to the fake. The shape is just off as well. The right is real, left is fake. You guys can notice the color differences between the olive, the swoosh, as well as the midsole. There's just some differences here, but there's a look overall. Right is real, left is fake. Take a look at the real swoosh. Take a look at the stitching and how nice and neat that stitching is and the color of the olive swoosh. Now take a look at the fake one. You can notice that the stitching doesn't come out as much. It's not as bold as it is on the real one, as well as the color difference. There's definitely a color difference on those swooshes. So here on the real pair, you guys can notice the black stitching, it blends in nicely, the black on black there. Here on the fake pair, you can definitely notice that stitching a lot more. Definitely bolder, and that's what's wrong. It blends in a lot better on the real one than it does on the fake. And you can really notice the color difference of the olive here on the bottom. Top is real, bottom is fake. The bottom one, the fake one, it's too light of an olive compared to the real one. The real one has a darker shade of that olive color. For those of you that wear your sneakers, you guys need to check out Drip Grip Soul Protectors. These are the best soul protectors on the market. With Drip Grip Soul Protectors, there's no slips, no tears, multiple wears out of every single Drip Grip Soul Protector. You guys can use my discount code DANNY10 to save 10% off your entire order. Make sure you guys check out Drip Grip. They're very affordable. They're great for the bottom of your sneakers. You can wear them as much as you want. Peel off the Drip Grip Soul Protector and the bottom of your shoe is gonna look brand new as if you never wore them before. Make sure you guys check out Drip Grip, the best soul protectors on the market. The shade of the olive, especially on the swoosh, and that outsole on the real pair and then here's a look at the fake it's just off it's just off the olive is off on the entire shoe once again you can notice the shape difference the color difference top is real bottom is fake the swoosh difference there's some stitching differences there's definitely some differences here you could notice the cactus jack branding better on the real pair than you can on the fake pair right is the real insole left is the fake you guys can notice the branding is off Big time with the logos, the color differences, the branding itself much bigger on the real pair and definitely brighter and comes down lower as well. Right is real, left is fake, back of the insoles, definitely a clear giveaway. Under the insole of the real pair, under the insole of the fake pair, you guys notice this is completely off. The real pair is white while the fake pair is gray as well as the stitching. There's just a bunch of differences here. Here's a look at the real size tag. Here's a look at the fake size tag. The lace bags on the real pair came on the left shoe. On the fake pair, they came on the right shoe. The laces, they got off just completely. So take a look at the real. Take a look at those lace bags, nice and big. There's a look at the real lace bags, as well as the colors. We have olive, red, and black, and then white come on the shoe. And then here on the fake, they messed up the laces. They put black. And then we got white in the bag, and then you have red and olive. But notice the actual shape and size of these bags. As well as these bags look old, they're not really clear. These are a lot clearer on the real one than they are on the fake. Here's both right shoes, so you guys can notice the Air Jordan Wings logos are slightly different. Right is real, left is fake. As well as the shape, the placement, the stitching, there are some differences here, once again, on the back of the shoes. As well as the insoles, right is real, left is fake. So the real pair has the yellow Cactus Jack logo there, and this fake pair has white. This is completely off, as well as the color, the placement, there's just things off about these insoles. Top is the real box, bottom is the fake box. This box is a clear giveaway. Obviously, they got the wrong color of the Nike branding, but take a look at the actual color of the boxes, they're off. Top is real, bottom is fake. You can really notice the color difference. Top is real, bottom is fake. The top one, the real one, definitely a lighter shade of this egg-like, cream-like color. But take a look at the real label and take a look at the fake label. The label's completely off on this pair of fakes, like way off, but there's a look at the real label. There's a look at the real YDM sticker. You guys can notice the lines and the actual greenness of that sticker. And then take a look at the fake. It's definitely close, but it's definitely not the same as the real one. YDM sticker, always something to look out for on real and fake shoes.
blacklight test time. You guys can cop a blacklight with my link down below in the description. It will help you with legit checks. So we're gonna blacklight test the real pair first. And all that you're gonna see is some specs come up because of the suede. And you're gonna notice there are some glue marks as well as factory marks on the real pair. Now on this fake pair, you're gonna notice some stitching is glowing when it's not supposed to be, but that's about it. There's actually less glue marks on the fake pair than there is on the real pair, which is absolutely crazy to see, but only a black light will show you that. So make sure you guys go cop yourself a black light. With this pair of fakes, I'm not seeing any Chinese stamps or any stamps that shouldn't be there. Just not enough glue marks compared to a real pair. The smell test. That is the real pair. And yes, oof, that is the fake pair. I've had these for a while and they still reek. They smell really bad like fake sneakers. You guys know that chemical really bad sneaker smell. That is the real pair, that real Jordan smell. That is a clear giveaway on real on fake sneakers right away. Would you wear this pair of fake Travis Scott olives? Leave a comment down below and let me know. This was a very, very, very scary, very close. These are very good fake pairs of Travis Scott olives. Please watch out. Please do not get scammed. This video is for educational purposes only. I want to help you guys and show you guys what's real and what's fake out there so you do not get scammed when you're looking to buy the real pair and do not get scammed and you do not want to get scammed for a fake pair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe because if this video gets 1,500 likes, I'm gonna give away a pair of Travis Scott olives. Be sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop. Always dropping that fire, straight fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. We out.